Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our lesson for today. Uh, I wonder if you remember what we learned last week. And if you remember what was the name of the brave shepherd boy. I'm sure you'll be able to tell your parents what, that, what is the name of that boy. So let's start our lesson today with a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us once again to hear your word. May it be helpful in our lives, help us to obey our parents, and help us to remember the lessons that we are learning today. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's start with a song. The song I want us to sing today is, I'm happy today. I'm happy today, so happy. In Jesus' name, I'm happy because he has taken away my sins away. I'm happy, so happy today. And the time to be happy is now. And the place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy is to make someone happy and to have a little heaven down here. Thank you, boys and girls, for singing. Did you hold somebody's hand? I hope you did. Did you hold your mommy's hand or daddy's hand? Thank you. So let's come to our lesson. You remember our memory verse? Who remembers our memory verse? OK. So let's see. Our memory verse comes from Psalms chapter 121, verse 2. My help comes from the Lord. You remember? That's what we, we read last week. And where does our memory verse come from? The Bible. What do we say about the Bible? The Bible is the word of God. God speaks to us through the Bible. So let's always remember to read our Bibles. And ask your mummies to show you where Psalm chapter 121 verse 2 is so that you can read with them. So thank you. So who remembers what we learned last week about a brave shepherd boy? What was the name of the boy? Anyone remembers? Yeah, I know you can remember. It was David. What did we learn? What did David do? We say that the sheep used to wait for him and he would take them out into the field. He would be leading at the front. He would be having his shepherd's flock and he, was, he would lead them and take them to take water and eat grass. And while he was there, David was afraid at times. But what did he do? He remembered the memory verse. What is our memory verse again? Let's say it together. Can you see it from here? Yes, so let's read. Psalm chapter 121, verse 2. It says, my help comes from the Lord. Let's repeat, we repeat three times. Psalm chapter 121, verse 2, it says, my help comes from the Lord. Again, Psalm chapter 121, verse 2, it says, my help comes from the Lord. Thank you, boys and girls. Make sure you remember to read it on your own. Okay. So I promised you last week that I would tell you what happened with David. You remember where he was sitting under a tree? Like that picture showed us, he was sitting under a tree. He's playing his harp, he's singing music to his God. Uh, and then he's, I wonder what songs he was singing. Did you ask your parents what, what songs he was singing? I wonder, maybe we'll get to know someday. But now something else happened. While he was seated there, he saw something coming from the bushes, a brown thing hiding there. Oh my goodness. He started panicking once again. He, remem he remembered there was a bear one time. What does that look like? I wonder what that is. Oh, he, re he saw that it was a lion. He said a quick prayer. What was our memory verse again? My help comes from the Lord. David took his stick and he was brave. He went ahead and hit 
the animal. What was the animal? It was a lion. It was a big lion. It had even caught one of the small lambs. David hit it on the head. He hit it again. And then he rescued the little lamb from the mouth of the, uh, of the lion. He hit the lion once again until it fell down. I want to show you that picture. Can you see this picture? This is what happened. This is the big lion. See how big it is? It is even bigger than David. He was able to rescue the little lamb. He's holding it back. Oh, what a wonderful day it was. David kills the lion. Yes, indeed. He killed the lion. Who helped him? David was able to protect the sheep because God helped him. God is always with us. When we call on his name, he's able to help us. What does David remember to do? Can you see our picture? David remembers to say thank you to God. Thank you, God, for helping me kill the lion. Let's say together with David, thank you, God, for helping me to kill the lion and to protect the sheep. Thank you, children. I'm glad you're listening and you're being attentive. So David knew his work of looking after the sheep is a difficult work, but he trusts in God. What are the difficult things you did this week? Were you like Mudoni and Nyambura last week? Did you listen to your parents? So let's listen to what was the end of our story last week. Can you see mommy calling out to Modoni? Let's call out to Modoni. Modoni! Modoni! Naomi, come in and eat. It's lunchtime. Now, Modoni has been to our lesson. He, she remembers that her help comes from the Lord. And she has been memorizing the verse. And so she remembered to pray, Lord, help me to obey my mommy. And so she did that. She listened to her mommy and she went and had her lunch. What are the other difficult things that you have done this week? Waking up in the morning? Did mommy give you some jobs to do that you thought was so hard? Or maybe you had homework? But what did you do? You trusted in the Lord to help you to do your work. So thank you boys and girls for listening and for obeying the word that God has taught us that we should do. Let's say our memory verse once again. Psalm chapter 121 verse 2. It says, my help comes from the Lord. Well done boys and girls. Do you remember the song that we sang last week? We can sing it once again. Twa sema asante Twa sema asante Twa sema asante Ewe mungu wangu Thank you boys and girls. Remember to always obey your parents. Let's pray. Thank you Lord for helping us to to listen and to obey to our parents and to do the difficult things that we were not able to do before. Thank you for the wonderful lesson about David, that he also trusted in you to be able to do the difficult work of looking after the sheep. We thank you and we bless you, for it is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen.